God in heaven, your name is holy. Bring your kingdom to earth. Do whatever you see fit, Lord. As above, so below. Give us what we need for today. Forgive us for what we've done. And help us to forgive those who have wronged us. And keep us from evil. Everything is yours, God. Hey, Switch. Hope you're all doing well this Friday evening. Hope you're ready for an awesome word by Michael. The title of his message is called Amen. Let's go, guys. Let's say it together. Amen. Let's go. Hey, Switch. This is Mike, and I'd just like to talk to you all about prayer. Before we continue, I'd like to just speak about how prayer has benefited my life and has been basically my solution. So a few weeks ago, I went through a lot of anxiety, a lot of fear. And, you know, I decided I'm not going to be in bondage about this. I'm going to pray. And I started praying about it. I started praying about it. And then God revealed the scripture to me. It reminded me of the scripture, 2 Timothy 1, 7, where I do not have a spirit of fear, but power, love, and compassion in a sound mind. And... I just meditated on it, meditated on it, and then before I even knew it, that all fear and anxiety just got lifted. And that evening, I had the best sleep of my life. Why as Christians should we be praying? You see, prayer is a form of communication to God through Christ Jesus. And when we have, a good commun- when we have communication with God, it builds a good relationship with God and then in nothing can come against us and whenever we have a challenge we need to um, persevere through we're always equipped through prayer and those are like one of the most there's many reasons why um, we should be praying but yeah that's one of the most fundamental reasons why we should be praying is to equip us because we can't do anything without Jesus Christ and the power of God Why should we be praying every single day? You see, sin is out to get us every single day and we'll be fools to think that today or tomorrow um, sin will take a break. Philippians 4, verse 6 to 7 speaks about how um, through prayer, God will safeguard our minds and hearts and that is one of the most easiest and most common ways the enemy enemy would um, decide to come and attack us. If we find ourselves constantly in sin, that means we're not constantly in prayer and prayer wages war against sin. When praying, try to pray humbly and not try and repeat yourself saying the um, same words over and over. Don't also use words that you don't really understand but you heard it from somebody because it sounds so spiritual. You know, just be yourself and just try and pray humbly. Mostly just pray humbly to God, don't use too many words words over and over saying the same thing hoping that God will hear you if you say it for the 15th time you said it God heard you the first time when I pray I try and pray humbly with understanding and if sometimes I find myself in a place where I don't exactly know what to say to God I would either give myself a few minutes a few a few um, seconds to think about it or I would wait for God to give me something to pray about so here's just two quick practical ways on how to pray i've learned this um it's called x so it's a c t s a for adoration c for confession t for thanksgiving and s for supply in adoration you you start by giving the lord um praises you know you adore the lord you use scripture and then you continue on to confession where you confess everything that's on your heart and then you continue into thanksgiving where you give thanks to the lord for what he has done in your life what he's going to be doing in your life and what he's already doing in your life also then you're going to continue on to um supply where you ask god humbly ask god for all your um heart's desires Another practical way to pray is the Lord's Prayer. So you take the Lord's Prayer, which you would find in Matthew 6, 9. You take the Lord's Prayer and use it as a template. Also, you can copy it down and, you know, you you personalize that prayer to yourself and to um, suit your situation. So those are two ways on how to pray. 
Wow, what an awesome and powerful word shared on prayer. Hey Mark, so what did you take out on the word shared on prayer today? Well, what I took out was when we don't pray, we cannot fellowship or communicate with our Lord Jesus Christ. Wow, that's awesome. So just a quick reminder that next week Wednesday, the 3rd of June, on our DCC South Facebook page, we are having a live guest, Pastor Harvey, with our senior pastor, Pastor Johnny. Join us for our online services every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. on our Facebook page at Durban Christian Centre South. Oh, don't forget to follow, like and subscribe on our YouTube, Facebook and Instagram pages at DCC Switch View. And join us next week again. Bye. Bye.